What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to implement a graph coloring algorithm in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to do graph coloring in Python today. Now, the basic idea behind graph coloring is quite simple. We have a graph, this graph consists of nodes and the nodes have certain connections. So certain nodes are connected, others are not. And our goal is now to color the graph. So to assign a color to every single node in a way that no two neighbors, no two adjacent nodes have the same color. So to briefly visualize this here, let's say I have a graph consisting of a couple of nodes here like this, maybe six nodes, and certain nodes are connected. Maybe we have this uh, structure here, then we might have this one, and this one, and this one, maybe we have another node here. Uh, and the question now is, how can I color this graph? And of course, one very simple way to do that is to just use a different color for every node. And if you have unlimited amount of colors, which theoretically, you don't have to use colors, you can also use strings or something or numbers. Uh, but if you have an unlimited amount of colors, theoretically, you could just assign a different color to every single note. So I can say this one is red, this one is yellow, this one is blue, uh, this one is green, and so on. But you can see that I don't have to necessarily do that. I can also say, okay, I use red, yellow, but since now, uh, I have a neighbor for yellow here, I can just use red here again, and I can use red here as well. Uh, then here, I can use yellow again, because the neighbor is not, um, not yellow. And here now I have to use something else because red and yellow are both used. So I have to use a third color because I cannot use red or yellow. So I can use turquoise, for example, and then here I can use whatever I want again. So that here would be a so called three coloring. So we use three colors, this is a three coloring of the graph. And in general, we can say that uh, there is a K coloring, uh, if we find it. The idea now is in this video today, what we're going to do um, is we're going to develop a heuristic, a greedy heuristic that is just going to, um, to basically color the graph in a somewhat reasonable way. It's not going to be the optimal way because the three coloring problem, for example, is a uh, NP complete problem, which means it's not very uh, to, to basically uh, say this in simple language, it's very hard to find a good solution. And especially it's very hard to um, or in this case, not to find a good solution, it's very hard to to confirm it in a reasonable amount of time. That would be the explanation here for the three coloring. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to develop a Python application or Python script, uh, which is going to find a somewhat good solution to this problem, heuristically, so not the optimal one, not even with a quality guarantee, but a uh, solution in a reasonable amount of time, which is quite good. So we're going to get into the code right away, I'm going to start a file called main py. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to let me just zoom in a little bit, we're going to import first of all, the random module, uh, we're going to import iter tools, which is also a core Python module. And then we're going to use two packages that you have to install if you don't have them on your system. The first one being matplotlib. So pip three install matplotlib. And the second one being network x, which is a package that allows us to easily work with graphs. So once you have them, you can just say import network x as an x and import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. All right, so those are the imports. Now, we're going to first of all, develop, uh, or first of all, we're going to um, write a function called is valid coloring. And the only thing that this function is going to do is it's going to check if the rules of the graph coloring are violated. So if any two nodes uh, that are connected have the same color. So what we pass here is the graph and the coloring. And it's basically going to just say for you v being two notes here. Um, so an edge is represented by just two notes. So in graph edges, we will have pairs of nodes which are connected. And if these two nodes have the same coloring, so if coloring, and this is going to be a dictionary later on, if the coloring of one node is the same as the coloring of the other node, then we're going to return false. And if we never return false here, uh, in the end, we're going to return true, because it's a valid coloring, no two colors, no two adjacent nodes have the same color, just so we make sure that the solution is actually correct. That is the definition of a correct solution. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to develop a greedy heuristic, or let's call it a greedy coloring. 
maybe heuristic is even too much to call it that, but we're going to solve it in a greedy way. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to say that we have an empty coloring. So in a sense, it is a construction heuristic, we could say, we have an empty coloring and we construct now uh, the coloring by just assigning numbers in a greedy way, uh, or assigning colors in a greedy way. So for node in graph notes, we're going to now say that we want to get a list of adjacent colors, meaning what are the colors of the adjacent notes if they have a color at this point. So we're going to say adjacent colors is going to be equal to a dictionary comprehension, which is going to be coloring dot, uh, actually, sorry, this is set comprehension, not a dictionary comprehension, obviously. Uh, so what we do is we say coloring, uh, get and then we want to get the coloring of the neighbor. And the neighbor is going to be part of the iteration here for neighbor in and then graph dot neighbors This is a function from network x, uh, which you pass a note to and this uh, function returns you all the neighboring notes. And what we do here is we just say, get me the color of this neighboring note, uh, which is going to be in here. In the beginning, it's empty later on, it's not empty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say coloring um, for this specific note that we're currently at is going to be and now what we want to do basically is we want to count. So counting because we're not going to say the color is red, yellow or something, we're going to say color one, color two, color three, you can then interpret them or assign them however you want. But we're going to say now that we have these different colors, and the colors are represented by numbers. So I have color one, color two, and so on. Uh, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a generator, and we're going to just call next on the generator. And we're going to do that the following way color for color in iter tools count. So we're basically just counting up um, to infinity. So we don't have a limit here, we don't need to specify a range up until a certain point, we can just count until uh, we have no more uh, need to count. So if the color is not in adjacent colors. So basically, use the first color, so color zero, color one, color two, until you find one that is um, not in adjacent colors. So zero might already be part of the neighbors. So already a neighbor could have the color zero. So go and try one, maybe it's also used two, and so on until you find one that is not used. That is the greedy approach here. Uh, and then we're going to just return this color, which is a dictionary. And this is something that we can then check with the is valid color. So what we're going to do now in the beginning is let's say we have n nodes being equal to five. And we're going to construct a graph randomly. So we're going to say g equals nx dot graph, this is going to be an empty graph. And then we're going to just add some nodes to the graph. So g add uh, nodes from and we're going to add the nodes from uh, the range n nodes. So we're going to just add five nodes in this case. And then we want to just iterate over the possible edges and with a certain randomness with a certain probability, we want to um, we want to create an edge there. So we're going to say for I in range and notes for every note for J in range. Now this is important, we don't want to do this twice, uh, twice. So we want to just go through all possible connections once, because think about it, if I um, ask myself, do I want to create a connection between A and B, that's the same as asking, do I want to create a connection between B and A, so I don't have to do uh, the iterations twice. So we're going to say I plus one up until n nodes. Basically, you can think about an adjacency matrix, and you're just going through the top triangle. Um, and then you basically say if random, random is less than and then you can choose a probability, let's go with 10% for an edge to be created. In this case, we're going to say g at h i j. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to say that our heuristic coloring, or let's call it greedy, or that's actually the name of the function, let's call it our coloring result is going to be equal to our greedy coloring applied on graph G, which we just created. Um, and what we want to do then is we want to print the result. So this is going to be our coloring is going to be equal to coloring result, which is going to be a dictionary. 
then we also want to print if it's actually valid just as a confirmation for us. So valid is going to be is valid coloring g coloring result, and then print uh, k. So we're not looking specifically for a certain k. So we're not saying I'm looking for a um, for a three coloring, but we're saying print a k to evaluate the quality of the solution. So I can say is uh, or actually not is what we do to um, uh, to get the k is we say the length of the set of the coloring result values. So how many different colors are there basically. And then to also get a visual result, we're going to visualize this, we're going to define a color map being equal to uh, a list comprehension, which is going to be our coloring result note for note in G notes. And then we're going to say PLT. Uh, actually, we don't need to create a figure, we can just say NX draw and we're going to draw the graph with the note color parameter or keyword argument being equal to color map. And then we're going to say with labels equals true and font weight is going to be equal to bold. And then plt show. And hopefully we didn't make any or I didn't make any mistakes here. And then we should see in this case, well, there are no connections. Did I actually add the edge or was this just okay, this was just a very unlikely scenario, or maybe it wasn't that unlikely. But now you can see, okay, we have certain nodes connected and no two nodes are actually um, no two nodes are actually uh, having no two neighboring nodes actually have the same color. Now we can go into our code and we can change five to 25. And then we can see hopefully something more interesting. There you go, we have a more interconnected um, graph. Now one thing that you can do, obviously, if you want to have only a connected component, so you don't want to have these single components here, uh, is you could start with a complete graph and randomly remove edges. This is also a possibility. Uh, I'm not going to do this now here, but you can see this requires or in this case, the solution has three colors, um, doesn't have to necessarily require them, maybe it's also possible with two, I don't know. Um, but you can see that whenever you have a separate node, it's basically yeah, you, you need only one color for that. So if you have no connections, you never need two colors. Uh, you need two colors when you have one connection, and maybe you need more than that. So you can play around with that. You can see now it found one with k equal four equal to four. Uh, but it's also a different graph. So that doesn't necessarily mean uh, a lot. Um, yeah, so what we can do now is we can increase this even more to something like 100. Maybe I think this should not crash. Uh, what really would crash is if you um, if you try to do it in a in an optimal way. So if you go through all the possible solutions through all the possible colorings to figure out the minimal one, this would take basically forever. It, it has a exponential an exponential runtime complexity. In this case, we find one with eight colors here, we find one with seven. Yeah. So you can play around with that. You can also try to develop different heuristics, you can go a not greedy approach, but you can do something else. You can also try to apply local search or any other um, optimization techniques here. This is a very simple greedy approach. But this is a uh, common problem, a common algorithmic problem in computer science. So it's good to know about it. And it's good to know a very basic naive solution to it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.